Now we are going to discuss the NCRT batch exercise problem, problem number 15 of solutions. The problem is a solution containing 30 gram of non-volatile solute exactly in 90 gram of water has a vapor pressure of 2.8 kilopascal at 298 Kelvin. Further, 18 gram of water is then added to the solution and the new vapor pressure becomes 2.9 kilopascal. Calculate the molar mass, first point molar mass of the solute and the second point vapor pressure of water at 298 Kelvin. Now we are writing what is given to us. Given to us is mass of non-volatile solute that is we are taking it as a B solute which is 30 gram and the mass of solvent in it is 90 gram and solvent is given to us is water. Vapor pressure of solution in that case is 2.8 kilopascal. If we added further the mass of the solvent that is 18 gram in the same solution, now the vapor pressure of solution becomes 2.9 kilopascal. Aim is to find out the molar mass of the solute and the vapor pressure of the pure water. Before starting the problem, firstly we will write the concept which are we going to follow. According to the Rolle's law, we are using Rolle's law. This is the important point. Partial pressure of a solvent is equal to the vapor pressure of pure solvent into the mole fraction of the solvent in the solution. Because solute is non-volatile, so the partial pressure of a solvent is the basically because the solvent, because the solute is non-volatile. Therefore, partial pressure of a solvent is the vapor pressure of the solution. It is the total pressure of solution. So, Pa equal to P naught A Xa. Here, partial pressure is the total pressure of solution. Now, Xa, mole fraction of solvent can be written as mole of solvent divided by the total mole of the solution. That is mole of solvent plus mole of solute. Initially, the mole of solvent was when 90 gram of the solvent was there, then the mole of solvent was 5 mole. Molar mass of the solvent is 18 and we have used the formula given mass by the molar mass. Our aim is to find out the molar mass of solute. So mole of solute can be written as WB by MB and the mass of solute is 30 so it is written as 30 by MB. 18 gram of water is added to the same solution. Now the N dash A new mole of solvent will become that is WA by MA. Again we are using this formula. Now the mass of solvent is 108 gram and molar mass is 18 it becomes 6 mole and the mole of solute remains same because we have added only solvent not the solute. The values in this formula that is Pa equal to P naught A into Xa partial pressure of the solvent or the total pressure of solution is one of the same thing because the solute is non-volatile. It is 2.8 equal to P naught A Mole fraction of the solvent, it is 5 by 5 plus NB. NB is the mole of solute. When the mole of the solvent is 6, now the vapor pressure of solution is 2.9. So again by placing the values 2.9 equal to P naught A into 6 by 6 plus NB. By dividing these two equations, we will have this term. We will get... 1.035 equal to 1 plus nb by 5, 1 plus nb by 6. So by simplifying, we will get mole of solute 1.3029. Approximately, we can take it as 1.30 mole. Now the molar mass of solute can be calculated by using the formula nb is equal to wb by mb. And we know that the mass of solute already given to us, it is 30 gram. So we can find out the mb, molar mass of the solute. Always remember one point, 30 gram is not negligible as compared to the 90 gram. So never neglect the mole of solute in the denominator. So here the molar mass of solute will come out to be 23 gram. Now our second aim is to find out the vapor pressure of the pure solvent that is P naught A. By taking this expression again P A equal to P naught A into X A. So total pressure of solution is 2.9. When the total pressure was 2.9 at that time mole of solvent is 6 mole. So the expression would be 2.9 equal to P naught A 6 upon 6 plus 1.30. We have already calculated the mole of solute. It is 1.30. So by simplifying, we will get the P naught A equal to 3.53 kilopascals. That is the vapor pressure of pure solvent, which is water. 